Canada Day is here again. And Canada is amazing. And some of the most amazing Canadians volunteer their time to make it even better. <laughs> Diane, you've got my life in your hands right now. I'm Diane Thompson. My name is Randy Scurf. My name is Trevor West. I volunteer for Meals on Wheels. I volunteer at the Community Care. Pick up people from their houses, drive them right to the cross for their treatment. I pick up people in their homes and take them to their medical appointments. Why do I like driving? Yeah. It gets me away. From your husband? <laughs> Gosh, the... <laughs> something's stuck in my throat. What do you like best about driving? Um, it gives me time to think, even though the music's on and it's cranked really loud. This is a nice car. Thanks very much. <laughs> is it yours? No, it's my wife's. <laughs> it's someone's someone's got to work in the house. I volunteer because I have the time to do it and there's people that need me, so why not? <laughs> I chose this volunteer work because my mom had cancer uh, many years ago and they really needed drivers and I was uh, I love driving. I walked into it when I was doing radiation at the cross and there's these drivers over there and I said you know what maybe I can maybe I can volunteer after to give back. There's lots of moments there to tell you the story about the the uh, the guy who put brandy in his coffee every morning. <laughs> Not a driver but somebody you were driving. No, yeah, yeah, I was dry, a client. I right. Should've. We kind of drive by sound. <laughs> if we don't hear any sound, we've made it. The, the hardest part of, about what I do is um, sometimes I'll encounter um, people that are on the street and they need help. Uh, one guy was from Victoria, really good guy, drove a year and a half. Picked him up after a year and a half, and he came in with his daughter, which is a little librarian and uh, he said Trevor this is my last time you'll be driving me today and I said what he goes yeah he says I go to uh, hospice tomorrow so all I could do is get out of the car give him a hug and say look we're all angels okay the hardest part is um, when I look back in my book and the people are no longer here I don't look back in my book that I've had some happy ones too. The best part about my volunteering is knowing that um, I'm that I am making a difference and people aren't going hungry. And what does that mean to you to get them to get those hugs and thank yous and that type of thing? Out? A hug is the best thing in the world. The funniest one was uh, a Newfoundlander. He lived out in the West in a motel. And I drove him for about a year and he uh, used to sing in my car uh, and do like karaoke. And I put this Eagles song through and he threw Bluetooth and he sang it all the way home like two or three times and we always had to stop off. I had to always buy him a coffee. But comedian, I mean, with his accent and the way he thinks, it was a laugh every time. And I, you know what, for that, I, you can't just, you can't buy that. Someone cut me off right and I had one of the meals in the styrofoam container come sailing right to the front windshield and splatter all over. And I had to, I had to stop and clean up. And I still managed to make, I still managed to make it to the depot. Anybody who's thinking about volunteering, I tell them to volunteer. You know what? Whether you have, you have some time, uh, just do it. Yeah, I like this vehicle. So what's hers is hers, what's mine is hers too, eh? I drive an, o, I drive an 05 Ultima. Because of what I am doing, I'm, I'm a small part of the machine, but I am a necessary part of the machine. They need you, we need you. Uh, it's the best feeling in the world. Where else do you wanna go? You wanna go to Florida <laughs> or something like that? <laughs> just drive, let's stop and grab some brandy and then we'll just keep on driving. <laughs>